Hello students, welcome back to study life. Now today we are continuing with the topic of anti marconic capsule. Already the few written material, the written matter is there in front of you. This is just to remind you with our previous video what we have done was marconic capsule rule. These were the reactions that we have done. We are going to make some additional corrections. So there are some additional corrections to understand what is anti marconic capsule rule. Now, what are those corrections? Let us understand the things very clearly and very carefully. To begin with, this is our unsymmetrical alkene. Yes, what is that unsymmetrical alkene? This is propene. This unsymmetrical alkene is called as propene. Now, this propene, which is our unsymmetrical alkene, will react with HBr. When this propene is reacting with HBr, already we have mentioned that we get two bromopropane and we get one bromopropane. But now the major and minor products are going to change and why are they going to change? The reason is very clear. The reaction takes place in presence of something called as peroxide. So here for anti Markovnikov's rule, the reaction takes place in presence of peroxide. So again, getting back to the statement, what happens when an unsymmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent? Now this is the additional part in presence of peroxide that's the only additional thing you need to know here in presence of peroxide. So what is that if an unsymmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent now we know already HBr is our unsymmetrical reagent because it is H plus Br minus. So if an unsymmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent and the additional thing coming up in presence of peroxide. Now what happens? Then the negative part of the reagent attaches to the carbon of carbon-carbon double bond which contains again there is a change here. This is not less number of hydrogen but this will be here more number of hydrogen atoms. So what is that change? I hope you understand instead of less number of hydrogen now here it is more number of hydrogen atoms now let's come back to our structure then more number of hydrogen so br should attach to the carbon of carbon carbon double bond which contains more number of hydrogen atoms so here it is ch2 this is ch this is more number of hydrogen right so br has to get attached to ch2 now if br gets attached to ch2 this is the CH2Br formation, isn't it? Because Br is getting attached to CH2. So this will give you CH2Br. And now here there is a change. Instead of calling this as minor product, now I need to call this as a major product. Now this is the major product. And obviously the previous one that we did was 2-bromopropane. And now 2-bromopropane becomes my minor product so this is the change that i will have this becomes my minor product so this is minor product and this reaction that has taken place it has taken place according to what is called as anti markovnikov's rule more importantly for this anti markovnikov's rule what did we add yes we have added something called as peroxide and that is why this anti markovnikov's rule is also called as there are a few other names to this it is also called as peroxide effect it is also called as peroxide effect or it is also called as crash myo effect so in your examinations may it be competitive may it be both whatever there are different effects sorry effect so there are different ways the questions can be framed so you can get a question like this. So what is peroxide effect or what is crash myo effect? So if it is either asked for peroxide effect or if it is asked for crash myo effect, answer doesn't changes. You are talking about the anti Markovnikov's rule in which the negative part of the reagent attaches to the carbon of carbon carbon double bond, which contains more number of hydrogen atoms. But very importantly, the reaction will take place 
only in presence of peroxide. Unless and otherwise peroxide is not present, this reaction is not going to follow what is anti Markovnikov's rule. All right. And in our upcoming video, students will be talking about this peroxide effect and also what we have done the previous Markovnikov's rule with its mechanism. So why exactly two compounds which are formed, one is major, one is minor, what mechanism takes place? So students stay tuned with study life for our next video. Thank you. Thank you.